welcome back to our studies on first timothy the seventh episode in the last class we discussed over the place of women in the local church from chapter 2 verse 9 to 15 and also the place of prayer in the local congregation in regards to the place of prayer we learn that the importance of prayer the nature of prayer the aim of prayer and also the conditions <coughs> made for the prayers of believers in the church in regards to the place of women in the local church we also discussed that that uh, of her modesty purity industriousness and the humility of women in the local church today we are going to discuss shortly from chapter 3 which is very specifically speaking about the church leadership according to the bible the church of jesus christ is a living organism at the same time church is also an organization for example if i say the human body is a functional organism is a functional organism at the same time is also highly organized machine that means the church of the human body is a functional organism or a living organism and at the same time it is also a highly organized machine if the local church is to be function properly and effective effectively it must have leadership and this implies the organization when i say that church is also an organization therefore from chapter 3 verse 1 to 7 apostle paul has been discussing discussing about the new testament pastor who is the physical head of a local church there are three different words in the greek which is used to mean the word elder or a pastor the first word is elder and the second word is bishop and the third one is pastor or of uh, el- uh, bishop third is past pastor bishop and then elder pastor bishop and then elder i would uh, shortly explain here all these three terms they are not three different offices but the three names of one office acts chapter 20 verse 17 and uh, uh, 28 also from titus chapter 1 verse 5 and verse number 7 the word elder is a translation from presbyteros the greek word presbyteros is translated as a elder or it is translated as presbytery in a chapter 4 verse 14 the word simply means an older mature person an older mature person the jewish elders were the leading adult men adult men recognized for their maturity in the same way in the early church the matured men were implicated or indicated by the other members in the congregation to the office of eldership so this is what it is meant when we say the board presbyteros is meant by and secondly we have the word bishop the word bishop is actually the greek word for bishop is episkopos from which this word the episcopal church gets its name from so the word bishop is actually coming from episcopos which means overseer and therefore the elder seer is also an overseer of the church he oversight the the flock of god and then we have the third uh, name pastor pastor is actually the word is coming from the greek word poimen the greek word poimen necessarily means pastor 
the one who pastoring the sheep or grazing the sheep so here we have the local pastor was an elder in terms of his spiritual maturity and an overseer in terms of his ministry i would it's a, to simplify it the pastor of a church in terms of his maturity spiritual maturity he is an elder and in terms of his ministry he was considered as a bishop and as to his activities he is a pastor because he is taking care of the sheep of their well beings a best example for this terminology is found in philippians chapter 1 verse 1 where we see the philippian church comprises saints elders and deacons and from verse number 2 to 3 we have uh, the personal qualifications of a bishop or a pastor is spoken about there are all together 10 different personal qualifications are mentioned here first of all paul says that a pastor must be blameless doesn't mean sinless because everyone is a sinner even after the one who has received the lord jesus christ still we are living in this infirmed body and therefore the body is susceptible to sin therefore the word blameless does not mean sinlessness or sinless perfection but simply means without a reproach that means literally the word means that that the, the word the literal meaning is that cannot be laid hold of is actually speaking that the bishop the one who is appointed as the bishop of a local church he should he should have a public acceptance before others so that no one should lay hold of him for any of his corruptions secondly uh, paul says that the pastor should be husband of one wife or bishop should be husband of one wife there was so much of moral issues in the early church as it was the founding time of the church in the world people from all walks of life they believed the lord jesus christ and came in the congregation but many of them had more than one wives or who have practiced polygamy in their life so paul made this a strict order here that the bishop must be pastor uh, wife uh, husband of one wife and that means a person who is of divorcee or having more than one wife should not seek the office of an eldership that is what the idea says and thirdly pastor or bishop must be a person who is so vigilant means he must be temperate referring to sober judgment in action his judgment in action must be sober it should not be silent and fourthly he says that he must be sober indicate seriousness of purpose and self control he must be sober in all situations especially as he is ministering to many different characterized sheep in the congregation he should be very sober <coughs> and then fifthly it says he sh- he would be of good behavior that means should be that word translated he mu- he must be a man of orderly life <coughs> the bishop must be a man of orderly life there should be an orderliness in every aspects of his life especially as a minister in a congregation it suggests a well ordered life and testimony that means he should have a well ordered life and a testimony according to the word of god and the sixth qualification it says that he should be uh, she he should have love uh, love and uh, love pe- he, sh- he should love people and enjoy uh, having them in his home that means he should be hospitable hospitality should be the predominant qualification of the bishop in a church that he should be able to love others and to invite them to his home and then we have the seventh quality that he should, should, not, should not be a striker that means one who use physical force to get people to agree with him or to side with him he should not be a striker the eighth point it says that the pastor must not be a uh, money hungry that means uh, he 
he should not love for money money is necessary for his ministry but is he, he should never go after money and he should keep himself away from amassing money so a bishop must not be a money hungry and the ninth qualification he must not be contentious that means always making strife and contentions in the assembly causing it to divide the congregation so he should be keep himself away from contentious uh, character and then finally he should be free from covetousness the bishop must be free from covetousness so all the 10 basic qualifications as to his uh, personal qualifications as referred here blameless husband of one wife vigilant sober good behavior apt to teach the word of god i think that i left one he should be apt to teach the word of god and if a person who is who is claiming that he is the bishop of a local congregation but he is uh, incapable to teach that the uh, uh, flocks in the congregation then he should not hold that office or he is not qualified to that office therefore paul says that he should be apt to teach the word of god properly and then he should not be a striker and uh, he should not be a money hungry and then he should not be a contentious contentious person and finally he should be free from covetousness so these are the personal basic qualifications uh, spoken of uh, the bishop in 1 timothy chapter 3 verse 1 to 7 god willing that i will be discussing the other two areas of his uh, qualification that is family qualification and his church qualification in the next session may god bless you all from these studies i pray in the blessed ministry of our lord jesus christ evangelist titus from edearmla thank you